Let's say you have a teacher that's given you an uh, assignment on parallel circuits and you have uh, some parallel resistors like this or maybe you're trying to set up a speaker system and you need to understand how the resistance is going to add up if you connect all your speakers in series or sorry in parallel and you want to calculate this and you do a little research and you find out that the formula for parallel resistors looks something like this and that's for resistor 1, resistor 2, resistor 3, and resistor 4. Uh, you need to add them up and it looks kind of like this and you're wondering how do I quickly enter that into a calculator and get the number I want so that I can move on to the next problem or start wiring up my speakers or, or whatever the problem is that you're working on. So this video is just to show you a quick way um, to how to calculate these using your calculator. So in this case I have a little example here. It's 24 volts. That's not too important because we're not solving uh, for Ohm's law here uh, or trying to solve for the current across each of these branches. That's a different assignment. We do have a resistance 1 of 10 ohms, a resistance, resistance 2 of 20 ohms, resistance 3 of 30 ohms. You've seen the pattern here, right? And a resistance 4 of 40 ohms. So like we said, here's the formula that your book would give you or maybe your friendly, kindly neighborhood website. So we need to plug in our values for R1, R2, R3, R4 into this formula. And that would look something like this. So there we have it. Um, but how do we quickly use our calculator to calculate this? So I'm going to use a calculator off of the computer. And it has this handy little key, 1 over x. It's our inverse key. I'm going to refer to that as our inverse key. Um, some calculators might have a little bit different form, x to the negative 1. Um, might be a different way it uh, demonstrates that with the, the, that key and its capabilities. So, but on this calculator, it's 1 over x, and that's pretty common on a, on a lot of different calculators, and perhaps the one you have too. So let's go ahead and calculate this up. And so we're going to start out with our first um, uh, piece of, the form, of our formula here and just add our way down to the right. So we take 10, and we use the inverse key. We add 20 and use the inverse key. We add again 30 this time and again we use the inverse key. And we add one more time and that would be our 40 and inverse. So and then we hit equals and we get an answer of 0 0.20833333333. Is that our resistance? No, that's the inverse of our resistance. Well what do we do now? If we only we had a special key, oh yeah, that's right, the inverse key. All we have to do is click the inverse key one more time. This is a very common mistake the students make. They don't inverse the answer from that series that we just did. So we click the inverse key one more time and we get 4.8. And that's the answer, 4.8 ohms. All right, that's how you quickly use a calculator to, to uh, find the solution to a resistors in parallel problem. All right, give it a try, see if the same answer. Thanks for listening.